you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries february 12th friday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to st mark chapter 7 verses 31 to 37 Then he returned from the region of Tyre and went by way of Sidon towards the Sea of Galilee in the region of Decapolis. They brought to him a deaf man who had an impediment in his speech and they begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him aside in private away from the crowd and put his fingers into his ears and he spat and touched his tongue. Then looking up to heaven he sighed and said to him ya fatha that is be opened and immediately his ears were opened his tongue was released and he spoke plainly then jesus ordered them to tell no one but the more he ordered them the more zealously they proclaimed it they were astonished beyond measure saying he has done everything well he even makes the deaf to hear and the mute to speak the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ one of the author gills felt said something about jesus he said have if any be misled he said rob if any naked be if any chance to hunger he is bread if any be a bond man he is free if any be but weak how strong is he to deaf men life he is to sick men health to blind men sight and to the needy wealthy a pleasure without loss a treasure without self in today's gospel jesus heals a deaf mute or a man who cannot speak and hear i think jesus has a hard time curing this man it's because he takes the man away from the crowd and then he puts his fingers into the ears then makes spit and touches his trunk then he breathes deeply and groans a fatha be opened but actually the reason is why jesus cures this man in this way according to william berkeley first he takes the man away from the crowd it's because jesus is so considerate the deaf mute man is always embraced his of his his deafness maybe for him it is better to be blind than to be mute or cannot hear so jesus shows his most tender consideration for the man whose life for him is so difficult jesus understand his predicament in second jesus puts his hands in the man's ears and touches his tongue with his spittle it is because in those days people believed that spittle had a curative quality and then jesus looks up to heaven to show that the healing comes from god especially that he is in his place where no one knows of him for that matter very few had a correct knowledge of god and having heard of god's word as a result they could not speak of the things of god in this case Jesus is showing us especially nowadays that there are people who shall them hear the word of God or never heard about it it is a great chance for each one of us and so through our own faith and love the kind of lives we have even the words we speak let's try to try our best to make those around us more aware of God's word and his love for us though the anointing of the sick church shares the healing ministry of jesus yes it is god who heals jesus himself commanded his disciples to heal the sick through anointing with oil mark chapter 6 verse 7 12 and 10 12 13 jesus very clearly tells us to cure other sickness James said to the Christian community to call the priests of the church to pray over the sick person and anoint him 
with oil in the name of the Lord. James chapter 5 verse 14. Yes, my dear friends, let us ask the grace to have a healing faith, to heal each and every one of our sick persons. Amen. May God bless us.